Hello. I was thinking about a game, a simple um, game suitable for playing on the bus or something. And I decided that what I would do is create a game in, in, with three different sub-games. And there would be a game where you're, the part of the game where you're in the town recruiting heroes, a part of the game where you're adventuring and you're choosing which path to take, and a part of the game where you're battling. And so this is the demo, or the early prototype for the battling section. The idea is that monsters will come walking in at a set set of intervals and you have to kill them off faster than they kill you off, maybe earn a rest. So these guys are your guys and you can see that they have uh, a lot of attacks going out and placeholder graphics, yeah. These guys are the enemies and you can see that the enemy doesn't have a lot of attacks coming out. He's, his attacks are moving much slower. That's because right now the battlefield aggression level is 2 and these two guys have moves at 2. This guy doesn't have a move at 2. He's substituting his move at th level 3 but because it's not precise he loses a lot of power. It, it, it charges much slower. However, if he were to raise his aggression level now you can see the total aggression is 3 and his attacks are coming fast and furious while the players have slowed down significantly. So you can see that this is the sort of, of jockeying which can be surprisingly deep for such a small set of choices. So the players might then decide, well, they're going to jump up to three, right? And this gives them the advantage because they have a move directly on five, three plus two equals five, a move directly on five, and they also have a move on six that they're missing. This guy's a move on four that he's missing. The only thing this guy can do to counter that is to come down into one, which disables this guy entirely, but uh, this guy is still chugging along. So uh, there's, a, there's a continuous duel where in this particular situation there's a, a specific pattern that emerges where, you know, I just went through it. It's like this. But um, as monsters switch out and as your party composition changes, you'll be faced with a lot of different kinds of challenges, a lot of different kinds of patterns, balancing uh, who gets what kinds of attacks. And it's all in real time, so there's a lot of a lot to say for uh, you know switching just before the enemy attacks so that you can screw up his attack and that sort of stuff. In addition, there's a loot mechanic and blah blah blah, but that's not uh, not implemented yet. I just thought I would show off the fact that I'm back to at least vaguely programming something.